Proton therapy is a really important technology for cancer care. For our patients that are coming to the Proton Center, it's usually a totally new experience. Our first job is really to inform and teach the patient kind of what to expect, why we're recommending radiation, and specifically why we're recommending proton therapy. What sets Siteman's Cancer Center apart are a number of key things. We're patient responsive. We have talented people here who are expert clinicians and expert scientists. And that leads to the best technology in an array that no other institution or center has. With radiation therapy, it's a non-invasive treatment. It's essentially like getting a scan is what it feels like to patients. They lay down for treatment and hold still while the treatment is delivered. They don't feel anything, nothing touches them, and they come every day. So every day for somewhere around 20 to 30 minutes, Monday through Friday, and the number of treatments totally depends on the diagnosis. For some patients, it may be as short as two or three weeks, and for other patients, it can be seven or eight weeks, and that's something that their physician will discuss with them. So you come in, at your assigned time, get your treatment, and then either return home or for some of our patients, they're receiving chemotherapy concurrently with the radiation. So for the patient, I think it's more important to know that proton therapy uh, will deliver the radiation uh, precisely to the tumor. We are actually we are able to bundle millions and millions of proton particles into a very small beam and deliver the small beam to any location inside of a tumor. Those protons, they leave very little trace behind uh, on the way hitting the tumor. Then they release all the energies inside of the tumor and no radiation beyond, killing the cancer cells without damaging any normal structures. Our proton vault equipped with a uh, state-of-art dual energy CT scan. We use that CT scanner to guide radiation to the tumor with a sub-millimeter accuracy. And also we use that CT scanner to adjust treatment plans quickly once we observe any uh, anatomy change along the course of radiotherapy. This is called adaptive proton therapy. Very few proton centers in the United States can do that. And we are proud to be one of them. We've upgraded to pencil beam scanning. This is really the most accurate, most precise form of proton therapy. In addition, we're really pushing the envelope, thinking about delivering proton therapy at really high dose rates, something called flash radiation. This is a really hot topic in radiation oncology. We want to be on the, you know, on the front end of that. To deliver excellent proton therapy care requires a, you know, a huge team. Patients are seen not just by a radiation oncologist, they're seen also by a surgeon, or seen by a medical oncologist, or sometimes other uh, physicians as part of that uh, multidisciplinary team. And so they will decide amongst the group of them which treatment approaches might be in the patient's best interest. We discuss your case with even an additional number of experts at something we call a tumor board. And so you'll see something on the order of 30, 40, 50 people and additional fields like even endocrinology, neuroradiology, pathology, and all these people are gonna be thinking about your particular tumor at this tumor board. Many of our physicians are often working both at the institution or across multiple institutions to do clinical research. Many of our physicians have run uh, clinical trials. We have a long history of collaborating with top tier uh, industry partners to uh, innovate radiotherapy. This pioneering and the leadership position actually give us a, a greater choice and a space to maximize the treatment outcomes just by customizing our care plans for our patients. One of the big priorities of the center is clinical trials. That's how we learn. That's how we improve and innovate therapy for patients. So we participate in many uh, international and um, national clinical trials for proton therapy. And then we also have our, our own investigators, our own faculty who write clinical trials to think about the best way to deliver proton therapy for gynecologic malignancies or rectal cancers, re-irradiation, and even really novel ways of delivering very high dose to small areas. For parents, uh, you know, looking for proton therapy, it really starts with experience. It starts with that level of expertise and also a focus on children. We really put a big focus on um, reducing anxiety for the children. So one of our big um, pushes is to decrease the need for anesthesia. And with um, play, 
With music, with movies and TV, we're able to get children even as young as four uh, through therapy without sedation. You can uh, go to centers where they read the trials, uh, read the papers that we wrote, or you can come to us and receive the treatment directly from those who've defined how it should be done, discovered how it uh, might help patients. And know full well that when you come here, you might be asked or invited to participate in a clinical trial yourself. What we're trying to do is make the best outcomes for each individual patient. That is the main focus of all of this activity at the Brain Tumor Center. All of these are ways that we're you know, treating our patients but also advancing knowledge for protons for, for others.